The Seattle Seahawks have finished their preparations for Sunday's game against the Cincinnati Bengals. And all that's left is once they land in Cincinnati's, they, you know, they're going to do their kind of walk through uh, on Saturday and just get ready, as I said, for Sunday's all important game. Real quick notes from yesterday. Uh, Holton Ailes is a rookie and uh, he was signed by the Seahawks as an undrafted rookie on May the 10th. They released him on August 29th, signed him on August 30th. Released him on August 31st, signed him on November the 4th, or on uh, September the 4th, if you will, and then released him on September the 11th. And finally, they picked him up again yesterday on 10 12. And part of the reason is that is because uh, now we know that Drew Locke stepped on somebody's foot during practice, during walkthrough, and the Seahawks weren't really sure what's going to happen at the backup position. But, you know, uh, Pete Carroll said today after practice that Drew did participate and that he that he's fine and so as far as what they'll do with Ailers, you know will they elevate him from the practice squad up to the day game day roster Pete said we'll wait until you know the full game day uh right up to game day we'll see so just to wait and see there but it, all signs are positive in terms of Drew Locke being the backup for Gino on on Sunday really good news is Charles Cross and Phil Haynes made it through the week with no problems so uh, they're ready to go so let's hear from the b-roll let's see the b-roll and hear from Pete <laughs>
Artie uh, looked pretty good running this week, I understand, uh, from the trainers, and so he's getting close. So you had Pete Carroll kind of give uh, injury updates and whatnot, but the big question right now is who will play left guard for the Seahawks? Damian Lewis is listed as doubtful, which means he probably won't play. So um, Anthony Bradford, the rookie, has played in three games. He started one game, but they were all over at, uh, at right guard. And uh, you know, his one start was against the Carolina Panthers. Against the New York Giants, center uh Evan Brown came in and shifted to left guard during the game, so it's something to uh, something to watch. He shifted to right guard, so something to watch. This, what they, you know, what are they going to do? Because it, it's a big deal, uh, just in terms of that right, um, that left guard position, given you know the pressure that the Cincinnati Bengals defense brings. Now remember, the Bengals are tenth overall in terms of their pass defense. They have, you know six interceptions and eight takeaways which which ranks them number 10 the Achilles heel for the Bengals is that they cannot stop the run per se they are ranked 31st against the run so if the Seahawks can run run the ball then as I said yesterday we continue to do that if they can pound that rock on first down get get manageable yards so that on third down and third are manageable, then they can move the ball down the field. They're going to have to do that. If they have to rely on the pass there, it's going to be a long day for Geno Smith and the rest of that offense. And, uh, you know, the other good news is that um, Jamal Adams made it through the practice, so he's ready to go. And so from the VMAC in Renton, I'm Osvita Mari.